Hello everyone, good morning and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm filming for you what I eat in a day. It is about 7 a.m. I woke up at 6.45, went out, let the chickens you know, free range or do whatever they need to do. Um, I came back in, brushed my teeth, washed my face, and then I put on like an eye mask, a serum, and then my anti-inflammatory oil moisturizer as well, which is why my face is super shiny right now. And I also have a coconut oil uh, hair bun in, which I just did this morning as well, as I'm going to shower later. So I wanna share with you what I eat in a day and um, Obviously, I'm not gonna be showing you all the water that I drink, but I'll show you my meals and some of my drinks, starting off with some sea greens. So I always do this every morning. Um, right after I brush my teeth, I'll just drink about a glass of water with about just a heaping teaspoon of uh, a sea greens powder, which is like organic chlorella, spirulina, and some other sea greens, and that's it. So I'll be drinking this, and then I'm going to wait 15 minutes, have some homeopathics, and then wait another 15 minutes and then I'll start the rest of my day. So I'll take you along with me so you guys can see what I eat. All right, so first meal of the day is going to be this amazing smoothie. Uh, we just have some of the Ancient Nutrition Vanilla Multi Collagen, which will naturally sweeten this, so I don't need to add any like extra bananas or anything, but you're also getting the gut healing protein. It's so good. Um, so collagen, spinach, there's uh, oat milk and raspberries, flax seeds, matcha powder, and also some medicinal mushroom powder in here as well. I'm gonna blend this up. This is gonna be the first meal of the day, and then I'm gonna have a nice, healthy lunch later on. So I made two smoothies, one for my husband, this one's for me. It's such a beautiful red color from the raspberries, although you can't really see it well with the lighting. But there we go, so this is gonna be nice and filling. <laughs> no, my Vitamix is dripping, but it's gonna be nice and filling for now, and then, um, like I said, I'll have a lunch later. Just having a snack. So I'm having these amazing Midday Squares bars. The ingredients are so clean, and they're so good. This is my favorite one, the Almond Crunch. So it's just made with like really natural ingredients. Just again, tastes so good. So this is my snack. So this is technically more of a snack, but it, it, it is my lunch. Um, I'm still pretty full from the midday squares bar and the smoothie. Um, just my appetite's not huge today, so just eating intuitively with my body and kind of sticking to something lighter. So I have organic carrots and cucumber, and this is an organic homemade hummus. It's very authentic with like a lot of garlic, and I also have pomegranates mixed in. You can't eat hummus, in my opinion, without pomegranates, or it's not done right. So. This is what I'm having for lunch. I'll probably have a snack before dinner. Um, normally I just do three big meals, but today I'm just kind of wanting lighter, snacky type of foods. I am making my favorite iced matcha. So all I do is just take some oat milk, uh, homemade oat milk, and I add a little bit of liquid stevia, just like five drops. You can use honey or any other sweetener. And then I do a little bit of matcha powder. This is ceremonial matcha. It's organic uh, matcha from Sore Organics. It's my favorite one, the only one that we use. It's so good. So I just do a, like a little teaspoon worth of that in the milk. And then I just use my power frother to froth everything together. Just wanna get to the bottom too. So it really volumizes the milk. And then I just add water and ice and that's it. Oops, and you dump it as well. <laughs> but this is the iced matcha, it's so good. I throw in a glass straw and it just tastes amazing. It's so sweet, it's so good. It's so good for you. Okay, this is what it looks like. It's so foamy, but then it also has like the beautiful iced matcha. Look how much foam there is. Super foamy and frothy. It's delicious. This is one of my favorite drinks to have in the summer. Boost your metabolism. It's loaded with antioxidants and EGCG, which is 
so great for preventing uh, viral infections and all kinds of things. So matcha is definitely my um, one of my favorite drinks to have and I have it a few times a week. I have to go outside and feed the chickens but it's like pouring rain so I'm <laughs> wearing my hood. I'm gonna go out. I'm gonna take you guys with me because I want to show you our little baby chickens. They're not babies anymore. They're like four months old but they're so cute and um, if you guys are like looking to see more homesteading or like garden videos and stuff my husband actually has a YouTube channel I'm on there a little bit too it's called edible gardening channel so you guys can check that out and uh, see more of like our property and like our food production and things like that but anyways I'm gonna go take out some food to the chickens and I'll bring you guys with me hi guys hi where's the rest of you Oh, there they come running. Hi. Hello. What you guys know? Don't hit the camera. What you doing? They love pecking at the camera. Hi. Hey guys. What's going on? What's going on? I don't have any food. No food here. No food. They keep coming thinking I have food. I don't have food. What you doing? Are you pecking at me? Are you pecking at my pants? They're all pecking at me. What's going on? <laughs> just about to take some supplements and just want to show you what I'm taking. So today, I'm, oh, we, I do probiotics every day and so do the kids. This is the one that I actually got for the kids. I ran out of mine, so I'm just gonna take theirs. I think it's 25 billion, so I take three. I also take one capsule of zinc, which is 30 milligrams every day, not forever, but just like every few months, just to keep my zinc levels in balance because I do have PCOS. Um, I also do Adrin Plus. This is from Douglas Labs. I love the supplement. It helps support the adrenals. It's an adrenal glandular with some other amazing ingredients in there. I'm very, very stressed and I lead a very, very busy work life and mom life, so this really helps just keep my stress low. NRF2 is an amazing antioxidant supplement that I like taking. It supports my methylation pathways. It helps with um, detoxification, reduces inflammation, having an autoimmune. It's always a lifelong battle of just making sure we keep inflammation low. So I take this here and there as well. And then also this one, this is a TH2 modulating supplement. So it quiets down your TH2 response. And because I've had so much stress lately, we know that stress you know, chronic stress especially drives TH2 dominant. So I take this during times of stress to keep my TH2 immune system in balance so it doesn't get too dominant. And then I also do three drops of thieves oil just because I've been sick the past little while. This just helps my immune system. There's clove and all kinds of um, good essential oils in here. My snack is some melon. No, I'm not eating this whole bowl. I'll probably have about, you know, 10 pieces of this. I'm sharing it with the kids. Um, just again, wanting something really light today as we have been sick, um, we're good now, but like the past week or two, so just easing into eating like bigger portions again. So just having some fresh fruit and then I'm gonna have some dinner. This is dinner. We are having uh, a big salad. This is just organic arugula and cucumber with olive oil, salt, pepper, and balsamic. Very simple. And a delicious seafood salad. It's so steamy, but we have gorgeous wild caught octopus and lots of wild caught uh, um, squid. You can't really see it, woo, foggy, because it's the same color as the pasta, but um, there's tons of these little squid rings all throughout the pasta here, and some asparagus from our garden. The sauce is just olive oil, salt, pepper, lots of garlic, and some fresh lemon juice. So it's a very fresh and light pasta. The noodles are go-go -go quinoa, quinoa noodles, and that's it, so this is our so just making the tea, all I do is add some gelatin to water and I let it bloom or dissolve. So I need about two tablespoons of the bovine gelatin in about a quarter cup of water. I'm now adding two tea bags of the Moringa blend. Just drop them in. And then we add some hot water over top. And we have such a good gut healing, whoo, steamy, anti-inflammatory, uh, I was gonna say smoothie, <laughs> tea. There we go. Have a wonderful night.